let's talk about this mayor the babe eve i don't know if you know about it or not but your your husband there he's a rapist I hope you ready for that to come out and be thrown across his face just like you tried to throw that kiss between Abe and Sheila face. I hope you ready for that. I hope you prepare for that. And I hope he can handle it. Not you. He can handle it. Because you the one leading the train to him. and You the one leading this train of disaster. So I hope he can handle it. He might not remember it, but I'm pretty sure people in Sailor remember that fight for day or night whenever it happened. So so, E, while you sitting up here trying to cover up for um Jack, talking about some he ain't forced himself on somebody, Kayla says otherwise, and I'm going to see how y'all going to deal with that. Like I said, Jack, you're not ready for this cheese. I've been told you, you better leave this mayor thing alone. This mayor thing is not going to end well for you. They're going to go on your pass, and JJ, they're leading the pack of your enemies. And you seen how he blurted that out. Mm-hmm. How many other times are he gonna blurt out your criminal past? And how long you gonna sit there looking I ain't gonna call you no idiot. How 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 long you gonna sit there looking crazy? Don't know what he talking about. But I'm pretty sure Eve probably know what the hell he talking about. Like I said, Eve, if you wanna be mayor of Salem, you chose the wrong candidate, my dear. Like I said, this man have a past. You have a past. Put y'all two past together. Ain't no way in hell y'all gonna be in the mayor's office. Like I said, both of y'all are wishful thinking, and y'all both need to give it the hell up before you make this man freak out, lose his mind, run out of town early, or worse in his case. Because like I said, he ain't know nothing about that. He was just throwing out words out there to Sheila, talking about, hey, take advantage of her. Did he try to force himself on you? Um, no. He didn't do none of that. But we know who did that. You did it. Like I said, see how that got switched back on your behind? Talking about some sheet of victim. Victim of what? Victim of what, Jack? No, the only victim we know is Kayla when you force yourself on top of her. But we're going to leave that alone and that's going to come out in the wash. Um, just like that about that, um, what was it? The lake that got contaminated and uh, um, Abigail was in the lake or swimming in the lake and she caught the virus from whatever he was dumping in the lake. I heard about that one too. So... Eve, I hope you ready to play defense because you're going to need it. While you sit up here trying to expose Abe and um, Sheila, who you need to be exposing if that criminal you with. But that ain't none of my business, though. And um, good luck trying to control... Um, What's the girl name? I forgot. Claire, cause you gonna need a, you gonna need a whole lot of work to control that thing. That thing right here with that lighter again, trying to burn up the picture now. Jesus Lord have mercy. And now that I think about it, and the more that it goes on, and the more that she being played, I only blame you, Trip, about the whole situation. Really, I do. I can't blame this girl for doing what she doing what she doing doing what she doing to try to save her relationship. She thought she had with you. I blame you, Trill. I know I was putting the blame on her, but the more you keep egging and forcing this woman on, trying to tell this woman that you love her, ain't nothing gonna happen. I'm with you. This just an inconvenience that I'm married to Haley. Like, Trip, why are you egging this, this silly girl on? You see she gonna fall for whatever you feed her. Like I said, I was kind of blaming Claire for that situation, the way she acting around here setting fires and stuff. I can only blame you, not Trip. The blame, you got to eat some of this blame too, buddy. The next crime she commit that ends that um, put her in jail, you need to blame your own behind. Cause now you just egging this girl on too hard, and I thought I never, and I thought I never say the day or see the day that I feel sorry for actual Claire. Trip, go ahead and tell that girl what you how you really feel about her. Go ahead and tell this girl, let her down easy. Stop playing with this girl hard. 
you tried to have sex with her. I guess you blurt. I guess you blurted out Haley's name or whatever. So that didn't end very well, and she came out even more upset, straightening up her clothes, about to run out, run out the door. So trip. Tell this girl your true intention, intentions on her. Tell this girl that you don't really like her like that, like that. Go ahead and be open, honest, and real with this woman. Stop playing with her for the life of you. Let this girl go. Let her down the easiest way you know possible. Stop letting that girl hold on and stop um, egging her on and stop playing this girl and stop beating this girl and stomping on this girl hard. Enough is enough trip. You is playing this girl. That girl is about two seconds for losing the last thread of her, br her brain she had that she got left. Trip, stop playing with that girl. Be open with her. Obvious you don't love her like you say you do. Because if you did, it could have been Haley, it could have been Jupiter, Mars, or Saturn, and said they need to stay in the um, country legal legally. You wouldn't have, you would have told them, well, go with JJ or somebody. Go find somebody else. I'm happy in my relationship. I'm not finna make my girlfriend upset a man with me just to keep you legally in the country. Like, like I said, you don't really like Claire like that. Because even when the idea hit your doorstep, you would have told Haley, I'm sorry, I can't. This is the love of my life. I want to be with her. And we make it to where we get married and have kids. I want to be with her. I want my first to be with her. Not with you. Not marrying you out of convenience. Like, trip, be honest. That's all That's all I can ask for is be open and honest with this girl. Stop playing with her. Give it up now. Because I got a feeling this girl fit to really lose her brain in this next two weeks or a week. I, I don't give her a whole week before she finally this snap. And I don't blame her no more. I blame you for egging her on. Now, somebody need to tell you enough is enough trip. You really need to you really need to pump the brakes and tell this girl and stop it. Really, you do. JJ and JJ Jr. had they talk. And Jack, now that I'm back on you, did you really expect um Jennifer to show up to y'all debate? Did you really? How many times must you and Eve step on her to step on that woman hard before that woman give up, say forget it, I'm done, I'm over it, you won't eat, have a have fun. Like, how many times must you um play in that woman face before she finally get it? Like, how many times do you want it? Do you want her to always come around and you playing in her face, kissing on Eve? No, you don't love Eve. You call it not Haley and trip marriage. But what about y'all, uh, a few months, um, uh, marriage? Uh, well, uh, y'all only came in a time a few weeks, a few months ago, and y'all didn't got married. Only after a few months. So, y'all call it Haley and trip marriage, um, uh, fake. What the hell are y'all's? But yeah, um, Jack, you shouldn't expect Jennifer to be there at all to any another debate that you involved in. Like, do you want her to be around to be disappointed, to be heartbroken, the man she wants to love, the father of her kids? Like, what do you want her to come around for? For Eve can try to make her jealous with her little cheap stunt she got? Like, why? I don't blame Jennifer for not coming around. I don't blame Jennifer for um doing what she got to do, or better yet, find a certain else better to do with her time than to sit around you and watch you and Eve sit there with all that PDA like y'all done been the um in love for forever. Y'all finally didn't got married and y'all been settled down for 10, 20 plus years. Don't nobody want to see that mess, especially not no ex-wife that never worked out for y'all. Don't nobody want to see that. Like, you shouldn't be much open, um, Jennifer, my um, you shouldn't be much missing Jennifer name and then, um, is Jennifer coming? Hell no, she ain't coming. Why should she? Why should she appease you? Watch Eve make an ass out of herself trying to make her jealous, kissing all over you, knowing don't... 
Now that now one of y'all don't love each other the way y'all say y'all love each other. I was about to say something else, but I had to switch it around. But yeah, Eve, I mean, but yeah, Jack, you really need to get over it. And Valerie, you came tooting back to town. What that was, Thursday, Friday? I'm behind Tuesday. I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You came tooting back into town Tuesday, I think it was. Wednesday-ish. Whichever day that was. I think it was Tuesday. You came back bopping into town. Miss Thing, don't nobody feel sorry for you neither. Like, that job was so important in D.C. that you had to leave Abe. You and Abe was doing fine and dandy. And unfortunately for you, you had to find out that your man was kissing another woman. Don't nobody feel sorry for you, Valerie. Go on back to D.C. where you belong. That job was so important to you. You couldn't give up the opportunity you needed in D.C. So go on back to D.C. And now all of a sudden you mad. Oh, what? I would never kiss another woman. Girl, if you don't go on back to D.C., don't nobody feel sorry for you, Miss Thing. You left your man for your job. Do that man put the sit around and wait on you, or you thought you was that special then? He was going to be open and faithful to you, and his heart only belongs to you and nobody else? Did you really think that man was going to enjoy the calls and the FaceTimes and all that? That man too old for all that FaceTime and calling on the phone to talk to you when you're available with your busy schedule. Like, you ain't have to take that job. You could have stayed your behind in Salem. Valerie, don't nobody feel sorry for you, baby. Don't nobody feel sorry for I know I ain't got nothing for you. I saw you up the, the crying and complaining. I fast forward. You so quick and in a hurry. Don't nobody feel sorry for you, Missy. You chose your job over your man you wanted that you was trying so hard to get. That job popped up and you went a running. Valerie, go find you another man or something and go entertain yourself. Because don't nobody feel sorry for you. You let a job come between y'all. And Jack, you were so quickly to expose that picture, that innocent picture I may add. Um, you didn't win. JJ ended up busting you in the face, you and Eve. Why Abe and Sheila was a topic of the main conversation, that quickly turned into Jack and Jack and what his past is and what he did in his past. So who wins? You or Abe? Cause for them looks of it, you don't win. And now and now you realize that oh shoot, I might then messed up. I might then messed up going for this mayor whole thing. Keep on letting Eve pull your pull your screens. She gonna pull the right screen and the right record gonna get popped out. So keep on letting Eve pull your screen. Keep keep right on letting her do it. Come on. Keep on letting her do it. Come on, keep on putting your arm up every time she put that screen. Every time she pulled that screen, keep on lifting your arm up. Keep it up. Keep it up, Jack. Keep on following behind Eve. Eve don't mean you no types of good. When you figure that out, you will understand why your son, Abigail, Jennifer, and everybody else in town, even Abe, were trying to warn you of that thing you that, well, that thing that you are um, married to. So you keep right on letting Eve pull your screens, and you keep on responding because she hitting the screens, and you supposed to talk every screen she hit. Keep right on. Mm hmm. It's only looking bad and worse for you, Jack. Like I said, I hope you can recover and I hope you can pick yourself up for whatever hole E throw you down and however that fall happened. I hope you're able to pick yourself up and recover because you're going to need it, buddy. With your arrest record and that arrest record, who going to trust y'all to in office? Hell, by the fall, Abe going to end up winning anyways because I, I see it in and bad for you, Jack. I somewhat feel sorry for you, but not really. But at this point, you want to talk about taking advantage, um, forcing themselves on people. Your answers this week has really made me say, you know what? Whatever happened, just going to end up happening. You better learn to use your common sense, Jack. If, even, if you go, even if you don't got none, you better go find you some common sense. And realize who, uh, what, who, um, and realize, um, 
who this race is or well, not this race, who this is more important to, you or her. You better ask these questions, Jack, because I promise you it's not going to end well for you. <laughs> Keep on letting E pull your screen, I guess. Moving right along. Um, T-Boss and, and um, A, y'all feel the start day. And it's obvious Abe and Valerie been having problems. They broke up. They hugging. Sheila feel bad because that came out during the mail debate. They hugging. Abe saying all the right words. She falling for him. Abe and Sheila for the end of day in him. I guess Abe can bring, I mean, I guess T-Boss can bring um, Abe a little, a, a little bit of style. Hell, she got to win tennis shoes, so she might can, you know, make him seem hip again at his age, I guess. What's the worst could happen besides her trying to steal out where well, she reformed, so, well, she allegedly reformed, so... Abe, take the risk if you want to. I ain't here to tell you what you can and can't do. If you falling for T-Balls, go right on ahead with it. I wish you the best. Hell, she don't want being a constant in your life since Val been gone, so you might as well go ahead. Hell, she started as an employee to your lover. That's gonna be a story. That's gonna be a story to tell. But have fun, T-Balls and Abe. Eli, Lonnie, Rafe. Eli, Lonnie, Rave, Valerie, Hope, Rave, involving, what's the baby, David, that whole situation. Um, Lonnie, I thought this baby was going to be a good good idea for you, you know, like the, um, that help you comfort of uh, having been around another child. Like, that can be, like, comforting for you or whatever. Yeah, you taking it over the over the edge, baby girl. And you might want to pump the brakes. Now you talking about some, you, now you talking about you want to lead the force and all this. And Eli still going around here snitching on you to your mama. Now it was the Abe nice to your mama about you getting too close to the baby. You kind of is giving the baby too much of your time time and when you was talking to Miss Immigration Lady you talking about my baby and he my op, he my priority yeah you sounded like a mm, Lonnie this is becoming horrible I was hoping it was going to be therapeutic for you or whatever but yeah you getting too attached mm -mm, you getting too attached baby it's time to back away it's time to spend maybe an hour with that baby every once in a while or whatever. I hope this don't come back to make you miss your child or make you break down and be in the fuck. Like, I was hoping this was going to be good for you, which when it all said and done, I hope this still be good for you and end up therapeutic for you or whatever. But yeah, as of now, um, Lonnie, you getting too close to that baby. And I'm going to need for you to stay. It on back a little bit. Uh, I already talked about the immigration thing. I already talked about EJJ. Uh, Nicole, Eric, the whole kidnapping thing. Um, we're going to go in and wrap this song up no, because they ain't going to get that too much of my time because that's still a developing storyline. And I'm kind of liking this kidnapping storyline um i'm kind of i guess liking that xander actually somebody boss and he get to boss somebody around it's just like this kidnapping storyline i can't get enough of now as for gabby and this bachelorette storyline and her and chloe they can go to hell with that when i don't care about the three look i don't care enough about chloe um, Gabby and, um, the pervert, y'all giving him too much. Y'all need to stop giving him too much. I don't really care about that. But as for the kidnapping storyline, I'm actually loving that. Like, every time I see it, I enjoy, I like, I'm enjoying looking at it and talking about it and discussing that. Forget the immigration thing. Um, what's another storyline? The immigration the male debate, I'm sick of that. But I'm finding myself loving this whole kidnapping, the Holly storyline, the Cole being bad. 
Chloe trying to keep her feelings in check or whatever and trying to date the pervert, I guess. Mm. But let's go ahead and get it. I actually did like that talk that um Brady and Nicole had. That was a long time coming. And I was wondering how they were going to make that come full circle with Brady and Eric and now Nicole back and her daughter gone. I was wondering how that was going to turn that into a full circle. But they ended up turning it into a full circle. And um, I'm surprised and shocked sh that Nicole actually accepted his apology so easily. And he willing to help him participate and to help him bring back Holly. And she actually accepted it. And that she's so forgiving of Air, I mean, Brady. Even though Brady was the um reason that she left town, all this happened. How she almost died and all this and all that. So I'm surprised and shocked that she actually forgave him so easily and that she didn't get him no poor bag. She didn't tell him, no, let me think about it. You know, you might have was mad. I, was, I don't blame you for being mad. I was kind of going, going behind your back, cheating on you with your brother. Like, I'm surprised she actually accepted it so good. I guess the past is the past and the baby more than important. So I'm guessing she didn't found the a new lease on, new lease on life, and she wouldn't let bygones be bygones with with Brady. But that was nice enough to see. Polly Pocket, you would not get none of my time. Still over here crying about Eric talking to Marlena. Goodbye. None whatsoever. You better go stay with Reds. That's where you better stay at. Stay with your heart at in that rain get. That's what you do. I ain't stunning you, messy. Um, yeah, I bet the Xander actually being somebody boss, Mr. Shark, I don't care what you do or try to, or how you try to pull yourself out of this or trying to ease it up before you won't get half of the blame. One thing about it and two things for certain, slow Salem PD could never catch Xander. They have him for a few hours, and then he managed to escape all charges, managed to get free on bail, free on bail and all that. So, any way you turn and try to make this seem like you was an innocent victim, all the charges going to get on your head, Mr. Shark. I'm just letting you know that now. You talking about some? you don't want to be involved in this, you don't want to be involved in no kidnapping, he wanted to play the hero role and giving Nicole back um, Holly, but he know Nicole can't stand his guts. He know Eric probably still, still want to kill him, so he can't play hero. And Xander, when the hell you ever got so comfortable that, oh, I don't need no money. I'm good when it come to money. Oh, I don't need no money. For the last couple of months and years we've been seeing your behind, You've been begging for Victor attention. You've been wanting to be a part of the family. You've been wanting to um be a part of Titan. Not not all of a sudden you didn't got your new um leadership in a new role, and not all of a sudden money ain't a thing, and you all of a sudden, and not all of a sudden you don't need no money. I know I ain't hear that right. Xander turning down some money, boy. For you to be Mr. Shark Balls, you certain. Mm, Somebody must have put a landfall in your pocket or somewhere, cause I ain't never seen the day I I ain't never well I ain't never thought I see the day that Xander the Thirsty will ever will, will ever turn down a buck or a quarter or some jewelry or something that he could turn into some money. I never thought I see the day. Whatever job you got being Mr. Shark Boss. Go on here, Xander, I guess. I guess you finally got what you was looking for. Hell, Victor would never give it to you, so I guess you found it someplace else, or you found comfort in somebody else, or somebody was a damn fool for making you being somebody boss. Excuse me, but they was. So, I don't care how you try to clean this up, Mr. Sharp. This is going to come back to bite you in a you-know-what. And don't say you-know-whos, because it's going to come back to bite you. And Xander always always managed to escape slow Salem PD, even when they do get him arrested and they have charges on him. You saw what happened the last time. He snuck right into the mayor's office, and all that evidence they had on him went poof. Be gone. So, Mr. Sharp, what you think going to happen to you if they happen to get you in, Xander? You going to be the one looking like the idiot with all the charges on your head. Xander going to be somewhere over the... um. 
cross country or out of the country somewhere enjoying his life hiding in the shadows while you sit up there doing all your time all your time i hope you find you a nice comfy prison wherever you land at mr shark or better yet you better hope you still be still be breathing because you want to turn against xander all of a sudden um Let's go ahead and get Gabby and the pervert and them out the way. Like, I really don't care anymore. Like, Gabby, you're a fool. You can keep on dreaming, thinking you're going to marry um the pervert. You're going to get all his stuff. You're going to divorce him and all the Damara, the, the Damara, the, the mansion, and all that just going to fall in your lap. You think you... You are a fool if you think for one second that you're going to do what Brady did to, um, to Eve. You are a fool. Brady told you to leave it alone, but I see you like giving your body to people you so-called can't stand. You hate their guts. You want your revenge, but you willing to give up your good by by gap. Ooh, excuse me. Bye, Gabby. Like I ain't got enough time for you. Every time I see you come across my screen, I roll my eyes and don't pay you no types of attention. Like, how much revenge do you want? Like, when is your revenge going to be over and tired and done with you? Never, ever, really? Oh, okay. Well, I don't care. I don't care enough then. Anyways, though, y'all, that was y'all weekend. Well, the week round up off of Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. It was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that was y'all weekend roundup. The three episodes that I'm being so I think it was Tuesday too. Anyways, though, y'all, I see y'all later. See y'all Monday. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I see y'all later, and hope y'all enjoying y'all Saturday. Bye.